Regulated trapping is a challenging yet rewarding outdoor recreational activity in Iowa. Trapping has many benefits. It helps manage and control high populations of fur-bearing species, which reaps benefits to non-game species, helps control damage to private property, and also benefits those species that may be endangered. Let's talk about the seasons of trapping. Fur-bearing animals are raccoons, skunks, mink, fox, red and gray, coyote, bobcat, otters, possums. These species have a season that runs from the first Saturday in November through January 31st of the succeeding year. Beaver is also another fur-bearing animal that has a season that starts the first Saturday in November and runs through April 15th of the succeeding year. There is usually no limit on fur-bearing animals, but we do have a couple. You can have two otters per fur harvester. Bobcats are another animal that has limits. Bobcats are limited to the county you are trapping in. Some counties limit a trapper to three, and other counties, the limit is zero. Make sure you consult the regulations to determine how many are allowed in the county you are trapping in. Now we know about the seasons, let's talk a little bit about some of the trapping regulations you'll need to know. First off, you need to buy a fur harvester license along with a habitat fee. Most fur harvesters are required to have a license and a habitat fee unless they meet a special exemption. Now that you got your license, you get to get your traps. All traps are required to be tagged, whether it be a snare, foothold, or conibear. These traps must be tagged while you're out in the field, including the ones that are inside of your truck. Pre-staking is allowed on private property. On our game management areas, pre-staking is not allowed. When trapping in Iowa, you're required to check your traps every 24 hours. Traps that are set underwater with the, or with the intent to drown are not required to be checked every 24 hours. Those that are set underwater are required to have the animal removed upon discovery immediately. Iowa's roadside ditches are open to trapping. Trapping with snares in the roadside ditches, you must be 200 yards from any inhabited building or driveway, and a snare set in a roadside ditch cannot, when fully extended, touch a fence. Conner bear traps that are under eight inches set in a roadside ditch must be five feet from a fence. If you have a conner bear trap set within 200 yards from an inhabited building or driveway, you must have permission to have that trap there. If not, the trap must be 200 yards from an inhabited building or driveway. Colony traps are legal in Iowa only for trapping muskrats. Those traps must be set completely underwater. You cannot set or maintain any foothold or body gripping trap or snare within 20 feet of exposed bait on land anywhere in the state or over water in the following areas. The Mississippi River Corridor, the Missouri River Corridor, or the Des Moines River Corridor. Exposed bait is defined as meat or viscera of any animal, bird, fish, amphibian, or reptile with or without skin, hide, or feathers that is visible to soaring birds. Let's talk trapping etiquette. Always be respectful of private landowners and other trappers. If you come across a set where you'd like to set and another trapper has a set there, please move on. Make sure that you make a good effort to not catch any domesticated animals that belong to private landowners. If you need permission to trap that area, make sure you get permission. Always check your traps every 24 hours. Make sure when you set your traps that everything is out of view. If you have any questions or need any assistance, you may contact a local conservation officer. You may find that information on our website. Remember, every trapper out there has a chance to leave either a positive or negative image. As a trapper, you represent trapping in general. So please use common sense and show trapping ethics while you're in the field.